So today we're working on uh, a hydronic system. Um, we're actually kind of converting it from uh, uh, a tankless water heater setup. I'm actually going to demo this out, put it in a boiler. Uh, it's a Bosch Green Star uh, 151. What it boils down to is there's, there's not enough gallons per minute going through this. It's flow. And that's, that's a, a heavy part of the equation. Without flow, you don't have the BTUs. I mean, the water is carrying the BTUs through the floor. So if you don't have the flow going through there, you don't have enough to heat the building. So what we'll be doing to fix this is we're gonna be pulling this unit out. We're gonna pull all the pumps out. Uh, we're gonna take one of the Norwich units out and we're gonna replace that with a Bosch Green Star, okay? That, that Bosch Green Star is gonna be a dedicated boiler that is only gonna do the heating, no domestic water. We're gonna save the other three for domestic hot water making. Uh, in the heating box, there's gonna be two pumps. Uh, this one pump pulls water from these units over here, and it runs through these heat exchangers, okay, which separate out the domestic water to the heating water, okay? Uh, so when this pump is running, this pump is also running, pulling from the other side of these heat exchangers, scrubbing off any BTUs that it pulls from this, putting it into the heating system here. So, um, you can actually see right now that we're actually only getting 100 degrees and it's, it's probably in the mid 30s outside. So we're not getting enough heat right now as it stands. So here's the finished product. This is uh, obviously after we demoed and we put everything back together. Um, we got our Magna One pump here. Uh, set up as Delta P, we've got it on the middle pump curve. Um, so these lines right here are going to manifolds that are placed throughout the building, okay? We did find that uh, one manifold in each building had no actuators on it, so we actually had to come up with a way to uh, control that zone. So we ended up putting a zone valve up here and then wiring it into the thermostat and uh, that solved that, that issue, was able to control that manifold as a whole. All the other manifolds have thermal actuators, so they're zoned out um, you know, for bedrooms, that kind of thing. It, people can have that individual temperatures. So this is the lines going out. This is primary, secondary piping, so you can see off the border, we've got our lines coming up. We have closely spaced tees right here. Um, the water is pulled. This is the supply coming out, which is hot comes up, hits this, this pulls what it needs up through the system, comes back and then returns on this line here. Bosch has also got this sensor that they put downstream, so it's pretty, pretty, pretty ingenious, really. It's sensing the mix temperature here as opposed to just the supply and return down here. So it can ramp the boiler up to where we get the, the temperature that we need here. So, so one of the things I've noticed right away is on this one, uh, this is up and running right now, and it's probably in the low to mid 30s outside. Um, our return temperatures are about, are about 100 degrees. And if you go to the unit that has not been done, the supply temperatures aren't even 100 degrees. So they're just, it's just not keeping up already. And it's only, you know, low 30s. When it gets down to the 20s, it's even worse. And they had some buildings that were dropping to, you know, 65 degrees, 50, 55. They were complaining and they, they called us out. So one other really neat thing about this Bosch is that the, the venting on top, I can actually spin that and it was really a perfect fit for this application because you can, you can obviously take the combustion air from one side to the other to accommodate this. So, um, you know, if it was rigid and we had no choice, it, it would make it much more complicated to run the venting. In this case, it was considerably uh, easier. For more how-to videos and the latest innovations for your bath and kitchen, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.